Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, GSM model only, iPod Touch 3rd gen, iPod Touch 4th gen, the first iPad, as well as the Apple TV 2nd generation. Now this does not work for the iPad 2 because neither the Lime Rain exploit nor the Shattered exploit actually worked on the iPad 2. They were both patched and Ionix exploit doesn't work on the iPad 2 either. So basically iPad 2 users are stuck for now. And basically the only reason why you'd really want to use something like Pwnage Tool or uh, something like Snowbreeze is to actually preserve the baseband on your iPhone. Now, Red Snow is way easier to actually use. It's more user friendly and it is super simple. Now, if you guys want to do that instead of using Pwnage Tool to create your custom firmware and restoring to it, then just check out the link that's down below in the more info. Also, another reason why you might want to use something like Pwnage Tool or Snowbreeze is uh, in case you actually need to do a fresh restore on your iDevice. I don't know, maybe because it's lagging or maybe because you want to actually update it to the latest firmware. And what you're going to have to do is actually follow the link that's down below in the more info and it will take you to a page on my website that will have download links as well as written instructions. So I have my firmware here and Pwnage tool and what we're going to do is simply open up Pwnage tool and once Pwnage tool loads up it will look something like this and you just click OK to the copyright message and make sure you check off expert mode because I found that sometimes in simple mode it is very difficult to find your stock IPSW. So again, Again, just check off expert mode and if you have an iPhone click on the iPhone iPod touch click on the iPod touch iPad or an Apple TV 2 then click on the iPad slash Apple TV one but because I do have an iPhone 4 I'm gonna go ahead and just click on the iPhone 4 one and we're gonna hit continue now we get the option to browse for IPSW and then just make sure you check it off and click the blue next arrow and mine is on my desktop so mine is right here it is just the stock restore as you can see it says iPhone 3 4.3.1 restore so I'm just gonna open that one up and then it could take a while to actually identify your IPSW once it has finished you get some options here now inside of general you actually get the option to activate your phone now obviously uh, I don't want my phone activated because it is a legit phone with AT&T the only reason why you'd want it activated is if you were actually going to use the unlock and again Pwnage tool and Snowbreeze always protect your baseband so that you can unlock and update to the latest firmware because as most of you know when you update your firmware it also updates your baseband and you need a lower baseband in order to unlock in most cases. So once you have all of your settings here, you can click next. Now I highly recommend leaving the root partition size alone unless you actually know what you're doing. Here you get the option to actually download packages right here from different sources and it gives you the sources that are stock right here and you can actually add sources if you want as well and then download them so it actually puts them inside of your IPSW so that way you have it when you actually restore. So that is kind of nice and that is a really cool feature that they added to it. Now now obviously when uh, it says custom packages and settings, uh, you obviously want Cydia installer checked so that way you can use Cydia to basically install everything. And then from there you just hit next and what you do is you just hit build and then next again and then you say what you want to save it as and for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to say test and desktop. Now it will go through building it and because I already have mine built I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this and show you guys the next step for this video. All right, so as you can see, this is the custom firmware that Pwnage Tool created, and it just is basically named the same thing as the original firmware, except it says custom restore at the end. So uh, what it's going to automatically do is uh, go into this DFU helper. Now I'm just going to go ahead and skip towards that, and it won't do anything until you actually connect your device. So obviously what you're going to want to do is connect your device. So I'm actually plugging in my iPhone into my computer right now, and uh, then it will recognize that it is connected and then it will tell me what to do so it's saying prepare to hold down the home and power buttons for five seconds and now we're gonna hold them down for a total of 10 seconds and it's really nice because it shows you what it is at so right now we're at eight seconds nine ten we're letting go of the power button and continue 
to hold the home button for a total of 10 seconds. And again, it tells you how many seconds you're at. And if you enter DFU mode successfully, it will say iTunes has detected an iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch, depending on your device and recovery mode. And you will need to restore that device before you can use it with iTunes. Now that's okay, you can just hit okay. And then again, just hit okay. And what you're going to do is hold down Alt or the option key on your Mac, and then just click on restore. Now, if you're on a PC and someone made a custom firmware with you with Ponage tool, simply hold down shift and click restore. But again, because we are on a Mac, we're gonna go ahead and hold down alt and click restore, and then we get the option to browse for that firmware. And again, mine is on my desktop, and it is called custom restore so it's right there and then just hit choose and as you can see it says itunes will erase and restore your iphone to ios 4.3.1 and verify the restore with apple and then just hit restore and now it is extracting the software so i'm not actually going to go ahead and continue with this because i am actually fine with my red snow jailbreak right now on 4.3.1 so this was just a quick tutorial showing you guys how to actually use Ponage tool. Again, I have written instructions down below in the more info because you just click on that link and you'll be taken there. If you get an error towards the end of your restore, such as either a 1013 or a 1015 error, and keep in mind it does have to be at the end, it can't be at the beginning, and it can't really be in the middle either. It has to be at least two thirds of the way done. And if you get an error, then you can simply download Tiny Umbrella and then just kick your device out of recovery mode because it will be stuck in recovery mode. So again, I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to let me know what you think in the comments section below and also subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.